This video will cover MarketSite's PowerPoint Chart Sync feature. PowerPoint Chart Sync enables you to update one or more charts in an existing PowerPoint presentation by simply updating the underlying data behind those charts without changing the layout or any other components of the presentation. This feature is ideal for a tracking study or any presentation that is based on data that changes over time. Here's how it works. First, you have to create some charts in MarketSite. This gives them a special chart code that is required to keep the charts in sync. Next, you export those charts to PowerPoint. Once in PowerPoint, you can copy and move those charts around in the same presentation or any other PowerPoint presentation. You can add slides to that presentation, change the theme, really do anything you want. As long as each market site chart retains its unique code, it will be able to be synced with its online counterpart. The next thing that would happen is that you would update your data in MarketSite by editing the data in MarketSite or by appending to an existing data set containing your original charts or by uploading a new data set and importing the original charts to the new data set. Whichever method you choose to update your data, it will cause the charts in that data set in MarketSite to be updated automatically. For the purposes of this demonstration, we'll switch to the updated data set. Now you have charts online in MarketSite that have been updated and you need to update the charts in your offline PowerPoint presentation. Now we'll perform the chart sync. First, click the PowerPoint sync button on the charts page. Next, select the PowerPoint file from your computer that you'd like to be updated. For the sync to work, this file must contain charts that were exported from MarketSite. Notice that I didn't select any charts in MarketSite because MarketSite will figure out which charts to update automatically by finding all the charts in this presentation that contain a MarketSite chart code. All of the charts in the PowerPoint presentation with codes that are in the current dataset will be updated. Next, you have the option of specifying whether certain items should be synced or not. For example, you may have modified titles, descriptions, or access labels in PowerPoint that you don't want to overwrite with data from MarketSite in which case you would uncheck those boxes. Then you click OK to perform the sync. That's really all you need to do. MarketSite will then make a copy of the PowerPoint presentation you want to update, preserving the original file on your hard drive. Next, MarketSite will find all the charts in that presentation that contain MarketSite chart codes. Then, MarketSite will update all the PowerPoint charts with codes matching charts in the current data set. MarketSite will also create a log file that will detail exactly which charts were and were not synced and why. We can see from the task list that our sync has completed. Let's take a look at the log file to get some of the details about our sync. Simply click on the log file to open it. On the first tab, I can see a summary of the sync. On the second tab, I can see exactly what happened for each chart in the presentation. Here we can see that the following charts were synced successfully. The code for this chart wasn't found in MarketSite, which could mean that the chart is actually from another dataset or that it was subsequently deleted from MarketSite. There was no code found in PowerPoint for this chart, which means that it was not generated by MarketSite. Now let's take a look at the updated presentation. As you can see, all of my charts have been updated with the latest data from MarketSite during the sync, and everything else in my presentation is exactly the same. We've updated each chart without changing the layout or any other content. I've mentioned the chart code several times as the way we maintain the link between your online and offline charts. This code is included with the chart when it is exported to PowerPoint, and it is unique to each chart within a MarketSite dataset. Though you'll rarely need to do this, you can view the code by looking at the alt text field for a particular chart. To do that, select the chart, click the format item on the ribbon, expand the size item on the right, and click the alt text item to view the code that was automatically inserted by MarketSite. Back in MarketSite, that same exact code is visible on the design tab of the chart editor. To view the code, edit the chart, and you'll see it here on the design tab. If you delete the original chart or modify the code in MarketSite or PowerPoint, that link will be broken and you won't be able to sync. Both charts must exist and have the same code to stay in sync. 
That wraps up the training for using ChartSync. If you have any additional questions about this feature, don't hesitate to get in touch with our support team for more information.